Boundless. <laughs> Hello world, it's Curtis Potter with Boundless Inspiration. Today I wanted to talk to you about chapters in your life. Because see, like, I just went through a chapter and... Man, I have this amazing opportunity ahead of me, and um, so Monday, I'm just starting a new chapter, and I'm realizing like mid-February, I could be into another new chapter. Sorry, I'm messing with my shirt. My undershirt is bugging me. I'm a sissy when it comes to the cold, so I got to wear these thermal underwear, or I'm just a big sissy, and, and sometimes they be bugging me when I see them in the videos. <laughs> but anyways, you know what, like... I wanted to talk about this because I know a lot of people that struggle with previous chapters in their life. You know, change is uncomfortable. So sometimes when you go into a new chapter or you, you're you about to, it can create this mm, anxiety like I'm scared, you know, false evidence appearing real. Likely that next chapter is a is a beautiful opportunity. Like, why do we resist it? And see, just like a chapter in a book, it has to come to an end, or it'd be like a run-on sentence or whatever, you know, like sometimes I used to type like, and like, dude, that was so much, like just end it, you know, at some point. <laughs> I'm just humbly, humble and just had to admit it. But just like chapters in a book, they eventually come to an end. Chapters in life, they eventually come to an end. You know, relationships, I used to hold on to them like abandonment issues and like, oh, no, how come this person's leaving my life? Even some of them that I was like, man, they really need to leave my life. For some reason, I was holding on, like, keep this chapter going, right? But you know what? Things happen for a reason. And, and, and I've realized that letting go of some people, some situations, some jobs, some chapters were the best thing in my life. See, like... You don't live in the same house forever. Now, I have heard before where, like, actually, um, a guy I know uh, bought the house off of his parents because he loved the house. It was on a beautiful property, and he just loved it. So he did buy his childhood home and still lives in it, and that dude very may well live in that same house his whole entire life. But that's few far in between. And see, how many relationships have you heard where they're, like, high school sweethearts, Went to school together in college, been dating ever since uh, high school, middle school, their whole life, get married, never get divorced, have kids, grow old, and die together. Like, those are few far in between, especially in today's age. I think divorce is 50%. They do happen, though, because I just happened to talk to someone yesterday that that's exactly what happened. So that chapter was a long chapter, and it didn't end. You know, sometimes chapters were for, you know, days, weeks, months, years, or it could be decades or a century, you know. But the thing is, is, is allowing yourself the peace if a chapter ends. Knowing that they could end and really evaluating if it is a good chapter that needs to end. You know, it's like those... those um, TV series where like at the end of the TV show, you know, it's only an hour long and with commercials, it's only like really 25 minute long. Uh, but you're like, at the end of the day, they just left you hanging like, oh, what is going to happen? I've got to tune in next week. Right. So sometimes you don't want them to. But it is what it is. It's just how it happens. And you know what? Just being okay with it. It's not like you stress all week like, man, next Tuesday, uh, I don't know what's going to happen in this TV show. So why are we doing that in life? One of the best things I learned how to do was just live, being happy in the chapters. And I'll tell you this because it's from experience where I didn't do so well in the past. Like, I stressed about the future, stressed about a relationship ending like man is this gonna end oh my gosh what am I gonna do without this person in my life because they're God no that's not the case like you know what I I've chose to go where I'm celebrated not tolerated and if somebody wants to walk out of my life don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you right so for t <laughs> so today I'm just asking you like are you struggling with how a chapter is about to end 
or is ending or a ch how a chapter ended in your life? Like, is it affecting you? I keep thinking about this Mike Tyson video I watched, and he said that anything that affects your decision making that's opposite of how you deep down really want to react or act, that's your master. So if there's a chapter in your life that is affecting, you know what, I'm just going to sit in the house and I'm going to mope and I'm going to eat this whole tub of ice cream and I'm going to binge watch this TV show of, you know what, like, um, man, I've, notebook, I was trying to think of a, like a super romantic, you know, like, I don't know, I don't like watching them, uh, the the notebook, like, I'm just, you know what, this dude broke up with me and I'm going to wait until this dude comes in my life or whatever. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm making fun of maybe me too. Like, I've had a heartbreak before. So I'm making fun of us. Like, I'm laughing with you, not at you. I'm laughing at us. But it's like, are you allowing them chapters to affect you? Are they becoming your master? And at what point are you saying, you know what, I have inside me, I'm capable of becoming boundless. It all begins with a choice. You have it inside you to make that decision to say, you know what? I'm not starting off from scratch because of this chapter. I'm starting off with a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, a lot of lessons, strong shoulders. I'm starting off ahead. So that next chapter that you're going through, you're starting off with a, with a lead. You're starting off with a little bit of a head start, right? So today I just invite you, accept it, it is what it is. It happened, oh well, look at it as a blessing, not a burden, no matter how hard it was. But did you die? <laughs> right, you ride with those people, but did you die? No, you didn't. You actually, now you're starting off with a head start. So utilize it. Be intentional about the next chapter you go in through. Be intentional about the next chapters you allow in your life. Some, you know, curveballs come. But being intentional with that head start is going to catapult you in life. Woo! There you go. You're going to win that race, right? Let it bless you instead of being a burden. If you know somebody needs to hear this, like, comment, share, tag, say, hey, we're out of this. It's 2022, baby. No more 2021. Put in the comment section an area, a chapter that you utilize to turn into something beautiful. Let's see it in the comment section so we all can celebrate that with you because every single day we're just a step closer to being balanced, baby. I love you all. Have a great day and let's go into this next chapter with the head start and just winning this chapter.